Hello, grade 11s. Today we're going to look at how to sketch exponential graphs. To sketch an exponential graph, we have to know the properties of the graph and the effects the different components have. Here are six simple steps that can help us draw the sketch. Firstly, we need to establish whether the graph lies above or below the asymptote. If the value of a is positive, the graph will lie above the asymptote. And if a is negative, the graph will lie below the asymptote. Next, we need to check if the function is increasing or decreasing by looking at the values of a and b. The function is increasing if b is greater than 1 and a is greater than 0, or if b is greater than 0 but less than 1 and a is less than 0. The function is decreasing if b is greater than 1 and a is less than 0, or if b is greater than 0 and less than 1 and a is greater than 0. Thirdly, we must determine the y-intercept by making the value of x equal to 0. Next, we determine the horizontal asymptote. We do this by making y equal to the value of q in the standard equation. Step 5 requires us to determine the coordinates of the x-intercept. We get these coordinates by making y equal to 0 and then solving for x. Finally, we plot the information found in step 1 to 5 and draw the graph. Let's apply these six steps to an example. Sketch the graph of y equals 4 times 2 to the power of x minus 2 plus 1. The x is in the exponent, and this means that the graph is exponential. The first step is to determine whether the graph lies above or below the asymptote. Since the value of a is 4, we can establish that the graph lies above the asymptote. Now we can determine whether the graph is an increasing or decreasing function by looking at the values of a and b. The value of a is positive and the value of b is greater than 1. So the graph is increasing. For step 3, we are looking for the y-intercept and we begin by substituting x with 0. This results in y equals 4 times 2 to the power of negative 2 plus 1. Using the laws of exponents, we can rewrite 2 to the power of negative 2, which can be rewritten as y equals 4 times 1 over 2 to the power of positive 2 plus 1. This becomes y is equal to 4 times 1 over 4 plus 1. This then simplifies to 1 plus 1, which means y is equal to 2. The y-intercept is 0 and 2. To determine the horizontal asymptote for step 4, we let y be equal to the value of q. So the equation of the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 1. For step 5, we want to find the coordinates of the x-intercept by making y equal to 0. But we have already seen that the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 1 and lies above the horizontal asymptote. This means the graph will not cut the x-axis and there is no x-intercept. So, just to recap, we know that the graph lies above the asymptote and is increasing. It has a y-intercept of 0. 2 and a horizontal asymptote of y is equal to 1. It also has no asymptote. Let's use this information to plot it. We plot the coordinates of the y-intercept and draw in the line y is equal to 1. The asymptote must be drawn as a dotted line to show that the line does not exist. We know that the graph lies above the asymptote and that it is an increasing function, so we can just draw the graph in. Let's do one more together. 
Sketch the exponential graph h of x is equal to negative, open bracket, half, closed bracket, to the power of x plus 2 plus 4. Step 1 is to check where the graph lies in relation to the asymptote. The graph lies below the asymptote because the value of a in this equation is negative 1. This means that the graph lies below the asymptote. A is negative 1 and B is a half. We see that the graph is increasing. The next step is to find the y-intercept. To do this, we make x equal 0. This gives us y is equal to negative, open bracket, a half, closed bracket, to the power of 2, plus 4. Simplifying further, we get y is equal to a negative quarter, plus 4. The coordinates of the y-intercept. Step 4 is to find the horizontal asymptote. The equation of the horizontal asymptote is y equals 4. The last step is to find the x-intercept. The graph lies below the asymptote and the asymptote is above the x-axis. This means there will be an x-intercept. We determine the x-intercept by making y equal to 0. Then we add 4 to both sides of the equation. This gives us negative 4 is equal to negative, open bracket, a half, closed bracket, to the power of x plus 2. We divide both sides of the equation by negative 1 to give us 4 is equal to half to the power of x plus 2. Laws of exponents allows us to rewrite 4 as 2 to the power of 2 and half as 2 to the power of negative x plus 2. Equating the two exponents to each other gives us 2 is equal to negative x minus 2. We add 2 to both sides of the equation and we get 4 equals negative x. Therefore, x is equal to negative 4. The x-intercept is negative 4 and 0. Let's take a moment to look at all of the information we've gathered before plotting the graph. The graph lies below the asymptote and is increasing. The y-intercept is 0, 3 and a quarter. The horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 4 and the x-intercept is negative 4 and 0. Let us plot all this on a set of axes. We have our horizontal asymptote y equals 4 and have plotted our x and y-intercepts. We know that our graph lies below the asymptote and is an increasing function, so we can sketch this. It is a good idea to learn the steps in sketching an exponential function. The more you practice doing it, the better you will get at it. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. To learn more about sketching exponential graphs, try the task video or visit our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.